My name is Susan Pantelli, and I'm the chair of the 2023 SOA Nominating Committee. On behalf of myself and the entire nominating committee, I'd like to thank you for giving back to the profession and showing interest in running for an SOA board member or president-elect and vice chair. This short video is intended to give you an overview of the election process. I'd like to thank the entire nominating committee for their help through this election season. I'd like to begin by going over the 2023 SOA election key dates. This information can also be found at soa.org slash elections. The call for nominations begins on March 31st and ends on April 28th. On April 28th, all material regarding your nomination must be submitted to the SOA. The ballot announcement to membership will be made on June 26th or June 27th. July 7th is the deadline for members that were not chosen through the process to inform the SOA that they intend to go into the petition process. The petition process will run from July 24th through August 24th. The SOA elections begin on September 6th and run through September 27th. Finally, the election results will be announced on October 2nd or 3rd. Let me introduce Scott Randalls, past chair of the nominating committee, who will walk through additional details of the election process. I wanted to start with some of the position criteria that the nominating committee will be using to select the president-elect and elected board member for the ballot. Starting with president-elect, some of the qualities considered by the nominating committee will be leadership experience, visionary, ambassadorship, ethics and transparency, being a team player, and overall commitment. It will be important for the president-elect to be able to run a board meeting effectively. Also, it will be important that the president-elect will be a great ambassador for the profession in all of the speaking engagements and speaking opportunities that this person will have. For elected board member, many of the criteria are the same. Some of the criteria that the nominating committee will be considering are intellectual engagement and curiosity, stewardship, visionary, ethics and transparency, team player, and overall commitment. Remember, as an elected board me member, you are one of 18 people that will need to work effectively across the entire board and their committees to be able to advance the profession. I wanted to talk a little bit about the position expectations and time commitments next. The president-elect commitment has been around 40 days of virtual and in-person meetings in the past. That recently has been less due to the pandemic. For the elected board member, speaking engagements are distributed among the, all the officers and board members. The board member term is three years long. The presidential term is three years, with the first year being president-elect and vice chair of the board year two being president and chair of the board, and year three as past president. It is also expected as a board member or president-elect that you will attend all of the board meetings, either virtually or in person. And there is expense reimbursement available for board members and president-elect to be able to meet that commitment. Now, I want to spend a little more time discussing the information that the nominating committee will gather as part of the selection process. As a reminder, an open call for nominations that's open to all FSAs for both president-elect and elected board member. At that time, at soa.org slash elections, a questionnaire will be published you will be asked to provide answers to a series of questions on this questionnaire. The questionnaire is very important for the nominating committee 
as they will use the information you provide to match your skill sets to the needs of each position. Also, if you are selected to be on the ballot, the questionnaire will be made public to all voting members as part of the election process. Next, a third party background check will occur. An external party will perform a background check and provide results back to Society of Actuary staff. If anything problematic comes back on the background check, you will be given an opportunity to provide additional information. And finally, a nominating committee interview will take place. Each interview will be conducted by two nominating committee members and one SOA staff and be recorded and last approximately 30 to 45 minutes. The information will be recorded but kept confidential within the nominating committee so that other nominating committee members not present during the interview can understand and hear the answers that you provide. Sample questions can be found on the SOA election website as well as scheduling work occur to the, through this same website. I wanted to talk through the nominating committee process. The nominating committee is responsible for nominating candidates for election in accordance with SOA policies. The SOA Governance and Policy Committee of the Board of Directors, along with the nominating committee, identify the skills and experience that the board needs based on the initiatives and the strategic plan and other issues facing the SOA. The nominating committee then independently evaluates the qualifications of all candidates relative to the needs identified. The process generally is barely competitive and there are usually more submissions each year than spots on the ballot. The nominating committee is responsible to then pare this list down to two to three for president-elect, of which ultimately one will be elected, and then recommend nine to 10 candidates to be placed on the ballot for elected board member in which five will ultimately be elected. The nominating committee goes through a rigorous process in the review of all candidates and relies heavily on the answers to the questionnaires and interviews in the evaluation. Once the nomination committee confirms the list of nominees, the SOA board confirms and approves that the nominating committee followed appropriate policies in putting together the ballot. Once this occurs, the list of endorsed candidates for the ballot are established. All candidates will then be contacted and will be told whether they were selected to be an endorsed candidate on the ballot. Nominees that were not placed on the ballot have the opportunity to then put their name forward for the petition process. But only those candidates that went through the nominating committee vetting process are eligible to go through the petition process. Non-endorsed nominees need a certain number of petitions for a place on the ballot, and that is set at 10% of the previous year president-elect voters. Next, I wanted to provide a few reminders regarding communication from candidates. As a reminder, it is suggested that you not communicate in advance of being notified that you were placed on the ballot. The SOA does have a lot of resources available for candidates. All candidates will be provided a web page in which you can load bios, answers to the questions from the questionnaire, a photo, and you will have the opportunity to provide an optional video message if you wish. In addition, up to two emails can also be sent directly from the SOA to the voter community on behalf of your candidacy. Examples of these communications and further detail are on the election website. Some additional general guidelines to remember. We suggest that you present your views on issues from the SOA strategic plan. Avoid any negative references to SOA staff or SOA members, and you should not use SOA funds or staff resources except as explicitly permitted. Feel free to promote yourself via personal emails, or on social media, but please keep in mind the importance of hearing to the communication policies and procedures that are established. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in the SOA election process. 
Don't forget the 2023 SOA election key dates. The call for nominations begins on March 31st and ends on April 28th. The ballot announcement will be made on June 26th or June 27th. July 7th is the deadline for nominees not chosen to contact the SOA if they choose to begin the petition process. The petition process will begin on July 24th and run through August 24th. SOA elections begin on September 6th and end on September 27th. On October 2nd or 3rd, the election results will be released. There are a few other dates for those who are elected. There is an incoming board orientation in October, which is followed by a board meeting in Indianapolis on October 21st and 22nd. Additionally, in mid-November, there will be a leadership orientation in the Chicago region. If you have any questions, please visit soa.org slash elections. We thank you for your interest in giving back to the profession.